Hi there guys, I'm Kevin from 4D Systems. Today, I'm going to show you this cool and easy to do MP3 player project using our latest Gen 4 Micro LCD 35 DCT display and this small but terrible SOMO2 audio module. So let's start and build this project. We need a few materials before proceeding to the project. First, we need a 4 ohm 3 watt speaker, a breadboard, a couple of jumper wires, our SOMO2 audio module, a Gen4 GPIO breakout board, and lastly, our Gen4 Micro LCD 35 DCT. This LCD is a capacitive version that makes it receptive to the user's touches. This variant of the display is great when you are making a project that often receives touch activity as data. As you can see, the product also has a cover lens bezel so you don't need to worry if you purchase an external cover that may or may not work with the product. It is also very easily adaptable to any hardware casing that you may have. Connect the FCC cable, the GPIO breakout board, and the LCD screen all together. Then connect the UART serial lines and the power lines before finally connecting the speaker. On the first part of the code, we included the necessary files for the program, such as the knob function library and the SOMO2 serial command library. The next part are the variables used. The main function starts on the initialization and setup, like the SD card search routine. Take note of the pin initialization for the serial communications. In this project, we used PA2, GPIO2, on the breakout board and PA3 GPIO1 on the breakout board. You can select and initialize a different UART port as long as it is possible. You can view and download the datasheet for the Gen4 Diablo 16 LCD modules for more information. The main loop is composed of the basic operations such as the play song, next song, previous song, and stop song. There are also track playing mode functions such as the continuous play, random play, and repeat always. The second form contains the equalizer modes such as pop, rock, bass, and normal EQ modes. All of the LCD display, programming modules, codes, and supporting documents used for this project can be found in our website. That project was very easy, right? So go ahead and give it a try. You can also try improving your projects by using our latest Gen4 LCD products. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch out for more project videos.